Time now for your forewarn weather with Thomas Keyboy. Good Tuesday morning, Utah. Time is currently 614 across the Beehive State. It's a quiet start to the morning. Weather wise, you won't find too many issues as you head off to work or school, but you will want to make sure that you bundle you bundle up because it is cold really across the state with the coldest air in the north northernmost portion of the state. Here's what it currently looks like in Cedar City with our Southern Utah University camera network where it's cold in Cedar City right now checking in with a temperature of 14 degrees. But we'll go ahead and take you into northernmost Utah. We're in Cache Valley. It's quiet when you look across the valley. Again, really won't find too many issues until I show you the temperature in Logan. It's minus 14. That's really, really cold. The wind isn't strong in Cache Valley, but you add a small puff of wind and you're likely feeling a temperature closer to minus 20. There is a wind chill warning in place for Cache Valley until 9 o'clock. Along the Wasatch Front, Ogden is one of the colder spots sitting at 10 degrees. We're kind of ranging between 10 and 15 in most spots. Heber, you're waking up to a temperature of minus 8, while Hanksville in southern Utah not feeling too bad at 21. While St. George, it's chilly, but it feels like a heat wave compared to the rest of the state. As mentioned, Cache Valley is in a wind chill warning until 9 o'clock this morning, but so is eastern Box Elder County. Wind chill values of minus 10 to minus 20 possible this morning. Make sure that you bundle up, but thankfully by this afternoon, it won't be too cold outside. It's just going to be a chilly day across the northern half of the state with daytime highs that will range in the 20s and 30s, while we mainly see 30s and 40s by the time you make your way into southern Utah. And then tonight won't be quite as cold compared to what we're waking up to this morning. In fact, most locations will be about 10 to 15 degrees warmer compared to what we're seeing out there this morning. In Salt Lake City, after a daytime high of 33 today, will drop to 22 degrees tonight. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies up and down the Beehive State. Daytime highs generally in the 30s in central Utah. Then we see the mix of 30s and 40s down south with St. George leading the way coming in at 51. We'll see those mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies today, but our calm conditions won't be lasting because as quickly as we move into tonight, our next storm system will start to move in. And we already have winter weather advisories posted for our northern mountains, central mountains, and even including the northern Wasatch Front. Cache Valley and Eastern Box Elder County. All of these will last until 5 o'clock in the morning. But you might be asking yourself, why is the rest of the Wasatch Front not included within the winter weather advisory? It's because as the system arrives tomorrow, we are going to see a slight uptick in our temperatures, which will result in a chance of rain and snow in our valleys in northern Utah. But it's more likely that the further north you travel, it's more likely that this system stays mainly snow for you. So as we begin the future cast and stop this at 8 o'clock in the evening, still looking at relatively quiet conditions, even though cloud coverage will start to increase. Then we'll be looking at a good chance of scattered showers across the northern two thirds of the state, especially through the first half of the day tomorrow. And you can kind of see that rain embedded in here along with those snow showers of the better chance of straight snow the further north you go. So I'm thinking Weber County northward has that best chance of seeing mainly straight snow while the rest of the Wasatch front could see times of rain and snow. That first wave of moisture moves away by tomorrow afternoon, still holding on to a chance of scattered showers in northern Utah, especially in the high country. Then a second wave of moisture could actually arrive by tomorrow evening, and that might actually bring a, bring a better chance of valley rain and mountain snow compared to the one that we're going to see tomorrow morning. And then on Thursday, looking at calmer conditions settling in for the second half of the work week. Here's a look at the snow potential through Thursday evening. You can see that our central and northern mountains could actually see a decent amount of snow, 8 to 14 inches with isolated spots maybe getting closer to 20 inches. But then as you zoom things in here to the Wasatch Front and the Salt Lake Valley, this particular forecast model really not showing all that much while as you make your way further to the north, two to four inches of possibility and even in portions of Utah County, we could be talking about a couple of inches of snow while again our mountains could be talking about a foot plus in isolated locations. So Wednesday brings us a good chance of wet weather, especially across the northern half of the state. Thursday and Friday look calmer and then another system could arrive by Saturday into Sunday and with temperatures that are going to be trending even warmer, we could be just talking about straight valley rain and mountain snow. Meanwhile, in St. George, we'll see dry conditions prevail as we go through the rest of this week. But look at those daytime highs by Thursday into Friday. How about upper 50s to near 60 degrees? That sounds pretty nice. And then by this weekend, we add in a chance of wet weather as daytime highs begin to gradually ease down. While on the Wasatch Front, chilly and partly cloudy after our fridges start to the morning today. Cold again tonight, but not as cold. Then rain and snow showers on Wednesday, a lingering chance early Thursday, but generally calmer Thursday into Friday. Then we bring in that chance of wet weather by this weekend, but highs will be in the 40s with overnight lows, maybe just a little bit above freezing on the Wasatch Front.